I saw the yeah. advertisement for you as oh, the co-rabbi of Rabbi Groners. Where was the ra- where was the advertisement? Ah, it went all over social media. There you go. I would have I would have I would have posted it, but the job. I told on your super world. So what, um, we, have I have, there, we have to dive in there every all, other week? All he asked is I dive in there once a month when he's not there for the uh, dive That's it. Uh, That's all he I asked me know. to do. No <laughs> more, <laughs> no less. I don't know. It doesn't look like that. Welcoming the rebellion of the yeshiva. You had such a good experience that. in the summer, so you wanted to continue it. I, I, you know what? He said, what, can we put a picture? I said, take the picture from Mamina with no jacket, no hat, no, no tie, no nothing. <laughs> Uh, be a bit less official. I don't want anybody to take me too serious. Uh, yeah. All right, now I gotta, I gotta, now I gotta go to another show now. That's it. Gotta make, make oh, my that's rounds. Right. That's right. I just want a good clarification. Yes, that's all that is. I got it. Yes, but at least it got you on the top today. So right then and there, it's worth it. Yeah, but I can't him, stay. I just had to ask you about it. <laughs> we know excited. that. We know that. Says who? We know Says that. who's worth it, Spiaco? <laughs> I, I said for me it's worth it that I got effort some Lima the Torah out of it. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, I have to stick around now. Now you make me feel guilty. There you go. At yeah. least for like a minute. At least for like a minute of this year. <laughs> make, it, make it look Correct. like it. Correct. You just slowly, first, first you take away the video and then you take away yourself. Ah, uh, that's how well, it works. Well, yeah. well land out. If you really want the hawk, it's more towards the end of the duff, right before we'll sign off to some hawk, which which may, oh, really? um, which one of the one of, well, one of the but they measure and shayosh might have a stickle issue according to the duff. But we'll what uh, but that you'll have to now we're really going to try and get you to stick on. Hawk, I'm going to wait for Shabbos <laughs> to talk to you about hawk. I was in Lakewood for Shabbos last Shabbos. Okay, I don't know what go. the heck is going on there. Hey, okay, you okay, we'll have to... You heard about this? Yeah, of course. Why not? So yeshivas do. What? What yeshivas do that? Okay. Okay. Anyway, we're, we're running late, so we got to get going. Okay. Shir tomorrow is uh, six fifteen, six twenty, and tomorrow night we said is nine o'clock, right? Nine ish. Yeah. Okay. So we're on the bottom line of Nunama base. So Amar Papa. Yeah, we got to give enough time to get to the hawk. To the hawk. So Amar Papa Yeketanoi, meaning. So we've been talking about is the. Where are you, where are you starting from? Two, three words from the end of the Da'amid on Nun Amaveis. So we were talking about that as a machloikis, um, there's a there's a machloikis whether the ikr in the in the base amikdash is the singing or the or the musical instruments, right? So now we're going to say Amar Papa. So now we're on to Amar Aleph. Amar Papa, ketanoi. This is a machloikis tanoi. The Tanya Avde kehanim. How you? They were so. This is going through the machloikas in the Mishnah and Erechin. Who was who played the music in the Beis Hamikdash? Who was allowed to? So, the first sheet that says Avde Kehanim. They were Goyim, right? They were Goyim, but they were the Avodim of the Kehanim, which is quite interesting. Tivir Meir, right? So, and I'm seeing anybody who complains about like the music, Goyish music, the bar, it's a whole different sugi, right? That, that a Goyish music, a Goyish, Goyish musician could do something in the base of Mikdash, Avde Kehanim playing right, by right. Carbonus, right? So they didn't, they didn't have Yossi playing, they had Jimi Hendrix playing. Right? Correct, right, right. This is already a sugi for Zevi and Mendel. It's a, <laughs> Rabaran's children, they could give a Hagansa Maroch on this. It's oh, easy, shit. easy top. Yeah, I don't know about that, but. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right, very good. Anyways, so I have to go home. How you do it, Mayor? If you say Mishpachas, Mishpachas based on Pagrim, or Mishpachas based Tiparia, those were names of Mishpachas. Um, 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 Emma, um, how you? And they were from this place called Rashi says the name of a town called Emmaum. Show you, Masin Kahuna. They were able to marry into Kahuna, so meaning they had Yichus. Right, so they had Yichus. So therefore, they they um, they were allowed to marry Kehanim. There was no promiscuity going on there, etc., etc. But Chenina ben Atigin is Zaymer, Leviim Hayu. They were they were Leviim. We have a three-way machloek. My love, welcome if the gift. So what's the pshat in the machloek? Yes. The manda Amar, the manda that says Avadim Hayu, the one that says they were slaves, because over Ikar Shira Bepeh. 
So the main music was the voices. So what if you have Goyim playing playing the musical instruments? That's not the main thing. I Meaning if it was a real Avoida, if music, if the playing the music was Avoida, how could you have a guy doing it? Right? Or it doesn't it would have to be Kaihanim. Forget about that, it would be Israel, it would have to be Kaihanim. Right? Um, so it must be that he holds the main thing is the singing, the instrument is just there for to provide some background. are you? And the one that says Leviim Kasavar Ikar Shira Bikli. The main thing is Bikli, so therefore it had to be Kahana. Right? So you see it's a machlaikis what what the main thing is. Is it the voices or is the, the music? The Tizbar or the music? My, yeah. If, we are, if it's if it's, if it's uh, music, if it's uh, Goyim, then it Mamish fits in this week. Don Everly died from the Everly brothers way before anybody on Yeshia's time. But he had an unbelievably gorgeous, beautiful voice, a sweet voice. And Charlie Watts, the drummer from the Stones, died this week. So. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I didn't know. I'm, I'm not up to date. I have to ask. Mamish has Gacha brothers. It, it yeah, yeah. fits in perfect in the Gemara. I'm sorry. Lisa the flows. Very good. Very good. Okay, so let's see. So, but Tisbara, Rabbi Yaisi, my Kasava. So, what does Rabbi Yaisi hold? Rabbi Yaisi again was the one who said that it could be Avadim. Ikasava, Ikashira, Bepeh, right? If it's Ikashira, you have even Afilo Avadim Nami, right? Then what do you need Israelim at all, right? Just even Avadim. Ikasava, Ikashira, Bekli, Levim in Israelim Loy. And if the main thing is Kli, then it should be Levim, yes, but no Israelim. But he says they're all okay. So meaning, so what does he hold? So it can't be that that's the machlaik. It can't be that Rabbi Yossi holds Iker Shira Bepeh or the Kli. So Ella the Kuli Ame Iker Shira Bepeh. Now everybody holds that the main thing is that you have to, the singing is the main thing. Welcome if you do Marsa or Hachi have a Maisa. Or Marsa or Hachi have a Maisa. They're just having a disagreement of how it went down. Right? Meaning really everybody holds that the music is, is there is as an accompaniment, not the main thing. Just it was just having a machlaikis of how it happened. So the word says in the mind of Camino. There has to be enough Camino. Right? If everybody's holding that the Iker is the past, and then so then and then just arguing about how it went down in the base of Victor, so then so then what's so then what should be the enough Camino? So the word says, Lamailan Midukhan Lyuksin will Lamaisa Kamifi. The question is, is can you say that if somebody's playing musical instruments? On the duchen, the duchen is like, like we call it duchening because the, uh, the kahanam stand up in the front. Right? But a duchen means like a bandstand, right? So if you see somebody on the bandstand, does that mean that he's automatically has yichas, right? It's from going from duchen, and can you say that he can go from the duchen for yichas? That means he's automatically has yichas, and you can, and he's a levy, he's legitimate, you give him your maisa. So the one that says there was a vadim, so obviously, because over ain't mile and we don't have the Since Avadim, they used Avadim, so you can't just assume that a guy's playing music is kosher, and we could automatically marry his kids and give him Maisa, because it could very well be an Evid who's not even Jewish. Umanda mi Yisrael, how you? And the one that says they were Yisrael, because over mile and we don't have the You can go from from Duchen the Yusin of a loyal Maisa, but you can't use it for Maisa because it could very well be that the one playing the music, since it wasn't the main part. Of the song that was done in the midst of Mikdash could be Yisrael, so you can't go give him Maisa. The Madam Leviim, how you and the one that says it was Leviim, because over Maila Midochin Bain Liyuks and Bain Lamaisa, the one that says it has to be Leviim playing, so then you can you can assume that whoever's on there on the bandstand has Yichus and he must be a Levi too, and therefore that would be they wouldn't let him on there if he wouldn't be a legitimate Levi. So once you see him on the bandstand, then you can go give him Maisa. Fine. So that's that's all the first sheet. If the island remembers that yesterday, because the Gemara is going to try and slug it up in, in a few lines. But yesterday we said again we had a machlokes when whether you could play music in the base of Mikdash on Shabbos or not. So Rabbi Yossi had said that the machlokes is by Shabbos, but by the simplest base of Sheva, everybody holds it is not Toich Shabbos. Now Rabbi Yirmiyah Bar Abba is going to disagree. Rabbi Yirmiyah Bar Abba, Amr Machlokes B'Shir Shosheva. The whole mach like is, is by Simchus Beis Hashayeva, whether it's Daicha Shabbos. But if you ask you to suffer Simchi Yisei Ranami Daicha Shabbos, extra Simcha is Daicha Shabbos. But Rabbanan Sabri Simchi Yisei Ranami Daicha Shabbos, extra Simcha is not Daicha Shabbos. I will be sheer shall carbon, but by a sheer of the carbonus, Divrei Akola, Vaidihi, but Daicha Shabbos. 
Everybody holds it's an avoid and it's like He holds exactly the opposite of the opinion that we were going through till now. So now the one is going to ask kashas on it. So meisvei shir shosheva doichas shabbos. We have a price that it says simchas pesach shosheva is doichas shabbos. Divir of yosi bar yuda. That's a yosi bar yuda holds. The chacham of my af yom tov ain't a doichah. Even yom tov is not doichah. Of course not shabbos. So you see that they're arguing about whether the simchas pesach shosheva is doichas shabbos. So that's not like the shita of Rabbi Yosef that we said yesterday. So to Yufta the Rabbi Yosef, to Kasha and Rabbi Yosef, to Yufta. So, so yes, we shlug up Rabbi Yosef. And therefore, well, so let's see the next Kasha first, and then we'll get to the Maskana. So Leima Sigmar says, Leima Bashir Shashayevu the Pligi. A Bashir Shul Kavar the Rea called Daichas the Shabbos. Right? So let's say that maybe by the shear of the simple space of Shave is the Machlaikis, but the shear of the carbon, everybody holds is Daichas Shabbos. So Leima to have a Yufta the Rea Yosef at Tarti. So now let's say that that's a Machlaikis. That's a kash on Rabbi Yosef in two ways, right? Meaning the first way we showed is a machlaikas that you see clearly that they're disagreeing even to play music for Shabbos, right? And here we're saying, but uh, that everybody holds that it's doichas Shabbos. So you're really slugging him up twice. So Amr Lach Rabbi Yosef, Pligi B'Shir Shosheyev, who would in the So Rabbi Yosef says, no, I have a different shot. They argue to everything. Simchas v'seish Beis Sheeva and Karbanos and Shabbos. They have a disagreement all the time. Is all music in the Beis Mikdash Daicha Shabbos or not? So okay. So if that's the case, and the whole Machlokes is for Shabbos, then why are they mentioning Simchas Beis Sheeva? Why the Kavivugi B'shir Sheeva? The reason why they're having an argument is Simchas Beis Sheeva. Meaning what the Gemara is saying is maybe if it's Daicha Shabbos, then of course it's Daicha Simchas Beis Sheeva, right? So why are you saying Simchas Beis Sheeva? Why are you even mentioning it? If they're arguing in all the situations, so we say no. It's coming to tell you the kayach of Rabbi Yitzchak who did afilu the sheva nami dochi that he holds that not only is the music doicha Shabbos, it's also doicha the simchas pesa sheva. Yeah, so that's that's so now we change Rabbi Yitzchak and say that they're arguing in all situations. So I'm going to ask for katani zel chalil shabesa sheva. Right, we learned that it says this is the chalil of the simchas pesa sheva. Right, it's not doicha, not Shabbos and not Yom Tov. Zeh odein a doicha. It's so it's mashma that it's not doicha of the simchas beis hasheva of the carbon doicha, but it is doicha the carbon. Right, so money who is it called? Like he never of Yosi by Yehuda, Hamar Shish Sheva Nami doicha. If it's Rosi of Yehuda, he holds that the simchas beis hasheva is also doicha. Elu lav rabbanon. It must be it's the rabbanon. With the Yufta, the Rav Yosef, the Tarti, and we shlug up Rav Yosef in both cases. So to Yufta, so therefore to the Yufta. So therefore it comes out that um, Rav Yosef slugged up, and we and, and this is the way we pass in that they do play the music in the Beis Hamikdash on Shabbos. It is Daicha, it is Daicha Shabbos, right? But the Simchus Beis Shev is a Machlekes. Now the Gemara gets back to why do they hold? Why did, what's the what is the what are the reasons behind the disagreement of whether the Iker singing in the the Iker music in the base of Mikdash is voice versus the other opinion who says that the Iker the Iker music in the base of Mikdash is 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 instruments. Okay, so my time at the Manda Omar Iker Shira Bikli. What's the reason for the Manda Omar that says that the Iker of the singing is the Kli? He said to bring up the carbon oil to Mizbech. Um, when the oil went up, they began to sing with the trumpets, with the instruments of David Melech Yisrael. Right? So, what does it say here? So, you see that the instruments were part of, are part of the, it's in the Pasuk that the instruments are an integral part of the music. So that's why he says that the Iker is Bikli. My time at the Mandoma Iker Shira Bepe. So what's the what's the reason for the opinion that the Iker Shira is with the with the voice? To see if he can echod the machatrim the mashirim la shmiya kol echod. Right? And there was like one voice with the people playing trumpets and the people singing, right? To make to sound like one voice. Right? So it doesn't say anything about clay shir, it just says chatzitzus. And the singing, so you see, and it says one voice. So you see that the voice is the main main part. So that's what the machlokes is based on. 
the Gemara says, "V'idoch nami yoksiv v'yomer chizkiyo." So the one that says that it's voice, what do you do with the pasuk that yes, that chizkiyo says that clearly says that they use instrument? Hachi Gemara, heichel shir Hashem bepeh, ayide kli daven melech Yisrael b'sume kala. Sing, use the voices with the utensils from daven melech Yisrael to sweeten the voices. Right? V'idoch nami yoksiv v'hi ke'achel mechatzchatzim v'lushayim. The other Shita said, what does he do with the Pasuk that sounds like it's only voices? The singers are similar to the trumpets. Just like the trumpets is with the Kli, so too the singers are, are with the Kli. Okay, so that's it. So that's the bottom line. It's a machlaikis over whether the Iker is the voice and the, or the Iker is the, the instrument. What do you want do to we say? Have a, do we have a Masara of what the music was? Or the sound oh, what? Like? Uh, no, I don't know. I never heard of a... a I don't know. Ray, in for those head, people in Chicago like you, it's their way to heaven. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I, I would think it's more classical music than Hasidish pop, but I can't, I can't <laughs> say that for sure. I, I can give you a list of uh, performers from the, that I can tell you that I'm pretty sure is not was not in the base of Mikdash, yeah. but I don't know. And the Gemara is, I don't know. The Gemara is discussing this. I mean, I, I thought, whatever. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I don't, I don't, on, don't know. Yeah, I mean, the, the, I mean, the, the, the Kalava said he had Nagunim that were from the base of Mikdash. So I don't know what that yeah, means. Yeah, he said that? But, yeah, sure. The Kalava, yeah. So look That's why he bought it from the farm, from the Gaisha farm in Hungary. He said it was a Nagun from the base of Mikdash. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I thought the, the niggin for Duchening was from the base of Megdash. I, I heard that somewhere. I don't know if that's true. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's what they say. That's what yeah, they yeah. say. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense that these niggin, we have a lot of other Messiahs, but the truth be told, our Rabar, and this is for you, we can't even figure out how they did the avoid in the base of Megdash. So many machlaikas, and how could we possibly agree on what song they used? Right. right? <laughs> But uh, I, I don't know. I, don't Jacob, know. I was just about like, to say, we don't know exactly where they placed the Arava, but we know what they're saying when they did it. <laughs> right, so but I know, but they do say that the Dochening Nigan comes, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, okay, so Zakta Mishnah. All right, so this next Mishnah is a history Mishnah. Yeah, Misha Lai Ra, Simcha Space of Sheva, Lai Ra, Simcha Miyamov. Whoever didn't see the Simcha Space of Sheva never saw what Simcha was in all his days. That's what happened. And they made a Tikkun Gadol, which we'll see tomorrow, tomorrow's top, what that was. Yeah. They had golden menorahs. And they had four buckets, I guess. Gold buckets on the top of each menorah. And four ladders to each one. Yeah, so if you want to see the pictures, uh, Aaron Kaplan posted it. And there were four kids from, you know, my Pirche Kuna, I'm sorry, from the young uh, Pirche Kuna. This is already the wild part. And they had pictures that had 120 lug of, of oil in it. Right? How, you know how heavy that must be? It's a total, so it's divided by the four of them, no? Okay. I, was, I wasn't sure. I wasn't so, sure. So is that the, the way it is? It can't, be, it can't be the kids. It might have been the t teenage. The, they put the OTD boys before the, on, on, the, on this squad, you know? They were strong, Kevra, and they, carry, and they wanted to carry this up. Yeah, but uh, I can't, either way, 40 look up a ladder? How much is a, how much is a log in there? I didn't write the mission. No, sure, I don't maybe know. they had like a pulley system or something. I don't know. It doesn't say that. I don't know. What would be the point of the ladders? But I guess they had to get up there. It's wild. It's wild. Also, I wasn't clear whether it's 120 for each one or 30 for each one. It seems like uh -huh. it was 30 for each one. But the mission yeah. doesn't say that for Farish. So a log is 16, right. o 16 ounces, roughly. I think is that what no. it is? Yeah, is that what or I don't know. Sixteen what or thirty-three. I'm not sure. I forgot. So sixteen times forty. All right, it's still a large amount. Yes, yeah, times monstrous. thirty. It's monstrous. Yeah, times thirty. I'm sorry, times thirty. Yeah, it's monstrous. Yeah. Um, okay. Anyway, so Shane Matilin, the whole save of a sale. They put into each and every book. 
Then what? From the worn out clothing and from the pants or the belts, I'm sorry, of the kaihanim, mehen they would they would spin them, whatever, they would make them uh, into wicks, and then they would use them as wicks. Right? That's what they did with the leftover kaihanim. Right? Um, there was no chatzah, I mean, with that much oil going in all these menorahs, there was no chatzah that didn't have light in the Simchas Beis HaSheva. Yeah. What exactly were these candelabra hanging from? It was they kind of open hanging. air. Why were they well, hanging? They were. They were I thought it was on there was on a, the ladders. No, the menorah shows up. Are you shown, right? Weren't didn't they have menorahs? Yeah. Wasn't it a menorah? The menorah just means something that holds menorahs. That's a candelabra. So they didn't bring the the menorah out. Not the menorah. The, uh, the menorah. Right. They brought I don't a menorah think... in the shuk. They brought a menorah in big menorahs in the shuk. <laughs> from her dad, from her dad brothers. What do you want? What, what... <laughs> These menorahs made know. of gold needed ladders to get up to. They would have collapsed under their own weight. That's true. Yeah, yeah, no Hanami, that I hear, but they weren't hanging. Unless I don't they know. were hanging right. from something. Unless they were very thick. And we don't know how thick the menorahs were. They would have had to be thin, not thick. Yeah. Okay, whatever it is. I don't know. So let's see by it because it's almost, it's already late. Um, so Chassidim and Anshemais, how you miracle with them? The Chassidim and Anshemais would dance in front of them. Bavuka is on top of the base now. Bavuka shall or should be a day and with uh, torches that were in the hands. So I don't know if they have and Sushpachas. It's interesting. This Sushpachas. Yeah. I don't know what that's, I don't know what's, when do you say, Sishpachas, Sushpachas, right? Okay, well, Levian be Kinoiris, and the Levian were on the, uh, what do you call Kino, Kino, the harps, Uben Nevala, Uben Tzalasai, Uben Tzalasai, Uben Klisher, Beloi Mispar, with that, tons of musical instruments. Achamesh Esri, Mailas, Ayaris, Mez, Es Yisrael, Es Yisnashim, and there were 15 steps that went from the Es Yisrael to Es Yisnashim, Kinega, Chamesh Esri, Mailas, Shabbat Elim, the 15 Shira Mailas that were in, that are in Tehillim. Shalei and Levim I'm the beklay shir that the Levim have the klay shir I'm from Shira and they say Shira I'm to shnei kahanim b'shara elyon shayor mez Israel has this notion and you have two kahanim standing in the top gate that goes from there as Israel that has this notion b'shnei chatzay to speak and they had two trumpets in their hand right I'm assuming that's one each same as before right Korah gever when the rooster called. Uh, I just lost the place. Eh? Kara Gever, when the rooster called Taku Viru Vitaku, Hagiu Lamaila, they, they blew Tkia Tru Tkia, Hagiu Lamaila, Asiris, when they got to the 10th step, Taku Viru Vitaku, they blew again. Hagiu Lazaro, Taku Viru Vitaku. Right? And we'll skip the parentheses. How you talk in Vahoka Nacha Megian, the Shara Yotim in Mizrach. They would keep blowing until they reached the Shara, the, the gate that goes out from the east side of the Mesa Mikdash. When they got to the gate that goes out from the east side, they turned their face from east to west for Amru, and they said, our, our, our forefathers who were in this place, in the base, and so Rashi says that they were Kaifrim in the base of Mikdash, and they didn't daven towards the base of Mikdash, they turned around and they went to the state, they daven to the sun, which was towards the east, right? At least in the morning. So he said, their backs are to this Hechel, and their faces to the east. And they bowed down to the east to the Shemesh. We are to Hashem. We are to Hashem, and, and, and our eyes are to Hashem. I have no idea what the Pshat in this is, but yeah, what are you saying? How does it physically work? They were going up the steps, right? From the Ezra's Nashim to Ezra's Kuna, to Ezra's Israel. Yeah. They were facing yeah. west. What does it mean they turned around and faced east? And faced west. They got to the what top. What are you saying? Higil Vashara Yetim in Mizrach. Hukhu Panei in Mizrach. Were they walking up the stairs backwards? No, so I, I didn't learn it that I did. Mamish, meaning they turned... They turned, what do you mean? They turned, what do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? They went out east. 
They're facing east. Then they turned around. No, they were walking towards the east. Then they turned around and they were facing west. Where were they walking from? From the entrance to the base of Mikdash, towards the east. So that's the east. And they're walking from the entrance towards the Ezra Sistro. That's to the west. Yeah. Why is that towards the west? Because the right turn would be north. I don't think they went. They went straight across to the east, I they're think. Walking towards the Mizbeah. The Mizbeah went south yeah. to north. I mean, yeah. they're walking facing west. Right. So they're already facing the west. When they got to the top of the stairs, they're facing the west. Correct. So what does Hafkut name in Mizrach Lamarav mean? Well, they came in. I understand. The doors, the doors were on the west side, weren't they? The door, which doors? The doors were in the middle. The east door of the of the. No, I'm the, saying, but then you headed towards the east. Then you headed east. No. Tviaka, we know which way the doors are because we did the carbonus in, in Yuma. Which way you put the right. cow? Right, but I thought this they walked the in on the west. We're talking about. And they headed right. across. I, but I thought they went into the west. They headed across to the east. Where, where, uh, where, I don't understand. They're coming in from the east to the west. That's the entrance to the base of Mikdash. Is in the east. I say you have your homework for sure. the weekend. Yeah. Um, Courage, I love the nice way of saying, let's keep, keep moving. <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed the Rashi. There's a one-liner. Rashi says the other way around. I don't know how that works, but whatever. That's what I'm saying, right. They turned around to the west. To face. Okay, whatever. Let, let's, uh, let, let, let's, uh, let's finish off and then, uh, I don't know, none of the picture books say show it? Okay, wait. But okay, so picture, one. Yeah, but okay. What do you want okay, me to look so at? Look at, look at it. Nothing. You got to be on the top to get they, it. How they on the walked back. across. How they walked across. And then how they turned around. The I don't think we have that in the book. My book. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Tonor Abba. Zog Deva. Tonor Abba. Misha Lai Ross. Simple Space of Sheva. Lai Ross. Simple Miyama. Whoever never, whoever didn't see Simple Space of Sheva never saw Simple in his days. Misha Lai Ross. Yerushalayim. Bittifarta. When anybody who never saw Yerushalayim in its glory. Lai Ross. Krach. Nechman. Meyam. Never saw such a beautiful um, city. Mishalai Ra Besa Mikdash, but Binyana La Rab Binyan Mafur Bailam. However, if you never saw the Besa Mikdash, you never even saw a major building. Mahi. Right? Um, which which Besa Mikdash, Rashi says. Right? Um, it's it's uh it's really three options. If Rashi doesn't say it straight out, but it's three options. There's one from the Bayas Rishan, and then there's two in the Bayas Shani, because it was rebuilt from by Hurdus in the middle. So what, which which base of Mikdash is referring to? So Rabbi Yehuda, the of Chista, said Binyan Hordus. Um, that's the Binyan. It was referring to the Binyan of Hordus. But my Bano, what did he? But my Banya, what did he build? Amar Rava. But Abne Shisha Mirma, he built it with stones of of green and white. Iku Daami, but Abne Shisha Kuchlo Mirma, he did it with green, blue, and white. Right, apix, uh, apix suffer, vile suffer. He, what he did is he, uh, he, uh, what's the word for it? One row stuck out, and one row, one row Protru um, protruding. One, yeah, one went protruding, one went in, and one went out. Yeah, kihechi the lekabel see this so that it'll, it'll be able to hold on to the to the mud to the cement without without it being seen. Right, meaning if you do bricks right on top of each other, so you're gonna see the you're gonna see the cement. That's going, that's, so he did it in a way that you move one in front of the other this way, and then somehow the cement doesn't, doesn't get seen. So Savar, the Mishen Badava, then they thought that he was going to make the whole thing gold, right? Put like a gold uh, plated. Leave it. Leave it this way because it looks like the, the waves of an ocean. So I'm not sure why. So what? So it looked like the waves of an ocean. Yeah. Um, like Taylor. So maybe, maybe that's a shot, but I, I don't know what. So what's the mile? So it looked like that. Okay. So it's pretty. So it's pretty. 
I'm saying gold is also very nice. But no need to do it if it's if it's already pretty. No need to make it to, to go through the I extra. Guess it was effort. a money thing. So it was a saving money I didn't thing. I say it's a money thing, but if it's no. if it's pretty, so maybe keep it like that. I hear. I, I think the okay, Gemara Barbasra says that about the the yam that it reminds you of of Shemayim. I, I think that's what the Gemara says there. You think that that's why they wanted it? Yeah, that's why they wanted to keep it. Same thing. It's with interesting like, that it doesn't. What does it say? Yeah, like what? No, like the same thing that that Gershon was saying. It reminds you of of Tchelis, of the, that whole that whole uh, I hear. situation. I hear light blue. I hear. Thanks, so. Okay, I hear that. That's a good shot. Okay, so Tanya, you know, I'm a Mishal. I wrote the the how do you pronounce this? Do you flustun shall Alexandria shall Mitzrayim? If you didn't see this the flustun, which Rashi says it's that's a Greek word, right? It's because uh, you means two. And blue means lotion of, of uh, officers. Right? He said, uh, That means he never would saw the covet of Yisrael, meaning there was such Kiddush Hashem there. Right? Which is interesting because when it was in Mitzrayim, Omru, Kimin Basilki, Gedai Lahaisa, it was a huge basilica, right? Which looks, looks some sort of like a stadium. It was one bench inside another benches. Yeah. Shishim Riboy, Al Shishim Riboy. Well, what do you okay? We can skip that. Kiflayim kiyotz mitzrayim. It had double the amount of the people that left mitzrayim, which is means one point two million people davening here, right? It's a and big stadium. The, and we thought that the Siyam Mashas had had ninety. We thought well, that was something, right? So yeah, big stadium. Value by ayin alaf kidetroy shel zov kineged ayin alaf shel sanhedri gedoyla. It had seventy one gold chairs. To represent the 71 um, Sanhedrin, people that are part of Sanhedrin, right? Which Rashi says they sort of made a Sanhedrin there. Right? Pretty much the Yidden were in all their glory, right? Each one of those chairs didn't weigh less than 21, 10, 210,000 gold kikas, right? Did I do the math right on that? I think so. Right, ten thousand. Rebu is ten thousand. So twenty-one ten thousand. Right? Ubima shall eight bam tsa and then it was a bima in the middle. Right? The Khazana Knesses Aymir Aleva Sudarabiyadi and the Khazana Knesses stood on top of it and he had flags in his hands. Vikima Shah right, this is a famous Gamara. Vikima Shigilana is Amin. When it came time for everybody to answer Amen, Allah main if Pisudur. He would wave the flag, and everybody would answer Amen. One second. So let's stop right there. So there's a, a few things that we learn out of this. One is that if you come into Shul and you hear them make the Ilam answering Amen, then you're allowed to answer Amen because you go after the, the rest of the Ilam, which is what happened over here. Right? Waving the flags was enough. That's one. Two, we learn out that the Bima was in the middle and the Chassam Cipher, the famous Chassam Cipher, and others that the bima has to be in the middle because it was seen like the some server has a lot of things like making uh hasanas and shoals he was very anti and he was very anti this thing of making the bima in the front of the shul because he felt and the mission of rura brings it and uh because he felt that it's going to it looks like the conservatives whatever the reform and the and all that type of stuff so they were very very stark that it has to be in the middle, and this, and they bring the source for that. That we it's always have in the middle. It's very weird that you see a beam on the front, anyways. Right, except in the Bismedish cotton and Shayashu. That's that. That should be the biggest catch you have. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just throwing it out there, right? Can I, why so, did some say to learn the opposite from this gemara? If the beam and this gemara meant what we call a beam, they would make it out of wood, not gold. They were mechavah the tyra here. Why would they make it out of wood? I mean, Stam, why did they make it out of wood? I don't know. So what do you want to say? It was a temporary thing? No, it's special to the Chazan. They made him his own stand. The beam that they laid from was, was in the front, maybe. Who knows? I don't know. That's But it says that the beam of the Chazan Aknesis stood on it. Yeah, they made him a platform to stand on so he could wave his flags. I don't know. Okay, but that's not... Okay, the Oilam is not learning like that. Right, but anyway, see, so but, he, but bring? he brings, but he brings that yeah. this is from the Rambam, that this is the source for the person who lanes. Correct, that's the what Torah we do. Is being read, so not the Shleach Tzibur, right? 
Right. So that's the thing. That's where it gets a little. So um, Yosef is on what, wheels and it moves in the base measures cut them. Right, right, right. No, I'm not complaining about that. The base measures cut them want to find a coin to Ramosha. I'm not so sure that Chassidim would be happy with it because Ramosha says as long as there's room to walk around in front of the, in front of the Bima, then that's okay. Right? It, it shouldn't be in the front front. The tire shouldn't be laying from the front front. Right? But the only thing is, how come, how come, where does he get that this is talking about Kriya Satira? Right? This doesn't say, this sounds like Fadavani. And by us, the Chazan and Dukaka go in the front. Right? So I'm, I'm not clear exactly what the history... This Chazan is the Shlich Tzibur? Or what the Gemara always means with Chazan? He's the, he's the Shamash. No, the Chazan, right. It doesn't, it doesn't mean. The Chazan means the Gabai, and he waved the flags. This is neither. Neither the Shlich Tzibur nor the Seif Tzibur was... Correct, but, some, but I'm saying, but the, uh, no, the Rambam is saying, and the, the Paiskim are learning from this Gemara that that's where the Torah was read from. Right, I don't know what to say. I don't know, but uh, but that's this is the source for the Gemara. This is the source for that din. Right, you never see a shul that they lay from the Torah from the front. That's that's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Right. Uh, fine. Then it says below Yoshimu Robin. This is socially. This is a very interesting Gemara. They didn't sit mixed, right? Ella Zahavin Bifneatsman. The gold, the gold people sat by themselves, the silver people sat with themselves, Unafakin Bifneatsman, and the what do you call it? The blacksmiths sat by themselves, for Tasim Bifneatsman, and the uh, copper people sat by themselves, Lugardim Bifneatsman, and the weavers. Imagine you make a shul now where everybody sits based on their uh, on their job. Ukashani Nichnas. He would recognize where he belonged. I mean, an unemployed guy comes in. He says, oh, let me go. What do you call it when a guy's looking for a job? Uh, what's it called? Um, networking. Right? Yeah? Is that the right word, anybody? Yeah, networking. Yeah, 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 yes. Right. So now, now where they put the networking in the middle of davening? That's a different kasha, right? Some might say, oh, you see, you talk during davening. Right? What else? When else? It's unless it's after davening. Okay, whatever it is. And we shun parnasas and parnas anche beser. And from there he gets his parnas and the parnas of the anche beser. Right? So I'm rabbi, yeah? The kulu katlinu Alexandrus maikton. So some are goyrus maikton or not. But it means Alexander the Great killed, killed out this whole thing. Right? Which obviously the Muslim to learn from this is that they had such greatness they probably thought they were in, invincible and it would never change, just like we think. We're in this world, we got so many buildings, beautiful, beautiful yeshivas, buildings, da, 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 and we think that's, you know, we're good to go. Um, you know what I mean? Whatever. I'll tift up but but uh, my time, Ayanshu, so why did they get punished? Because they were ever on the Pasuk, like the Pasuk says that you should never go in this way again, meaning they should never go back to Mitzrayim. It's also to live in Mitzrayim. And they went to live in Mitzrayim anyways. Binu Hadar also, and they went back to live in Mitzrayim. Yeah, fine. So that's why they got punished. Oh, the Rambam lived in the Mitzrayim, right? And others went to Mitzrayim. So basically what the price can say is that if it's necessary for livelihood or just to travel through for business, then it's allowed. So I don't know exactly what the Rambam did, but we need Shmuli Sugar for uh, for all that. So he also asked I thought, I thought the Rambam Paskin that, that this Esther is to go down the same route that they took to get to Eretz Yisrael. To it could be, yeah. Direction. It could be, yeah. That sounds, that's, yeah. I think I think you're correct on that. But the, but the Rambam, but the Rambam ended many letters by saying, "He who every day is over of the mitzvah of not living in Mitzrayim." He wrote that in his own hand. So right, enough. right, that's Taka. So it's in. Maybe he felt it was a Shasatrak, whatever it is. Yeah. Anyway, so fine. He was so a member of the community. I don't know if he felt that responsibility. Right, right. I hear. Okay, so let's divide. So he also asked Kachinu to have a Korubasifra. How that happened? Because when he came, 
we found them reading in the in the Sefer Torah. Yisa Hashem Elecha Goyim Erachok. Hashem will bring against you. This is next week's parsha, two weeks parsha. No, a, a guy was it this week? I don't know. Not not this week. Uh, a guy, Hashem will bring a guy on you from far away. Omar Michti. So let's see. Right, this is Alexander talking. Who gav Rabbi Lamesi Sfinos of Asariyam? That person really should take him ten days to come on the boat. Right, Dalia Zeka Vasi Sfinos of Chamshiyam, and the wind came. Zeka means wind. Vasi Sfinos, and the boat came in five days. Must be that it must be me. I'm the guy that's because I had such kvitzes aderach. I got there in in half the time. Not for the liars, he fell on them v'katlinu, and he. Kill them. So that's the story how they lost to Mitzrayim. Now, really, we should stop there, but we cannot stop a daf with those words. So let's go. Let's go one more. Uh, right, the Matzah Yom So in Matzah Yom um, they made a tikkun gadol. What's the tikkun gadol? Amar of Elazar, Kaisa Shishaninu, like we learned, Chal Kaisa Berishayna, Chalak Kaisa Berishayna. It was smooth, right? The um, in the Berishayna means in the first base of Mikdash. It was smooth. The kifur gezutra, and then they, then they, meaning it was straight. The ezus nashim was in the same level as the men. Then they surrounded it with uh, a porch because it's rov es kinu sheyim nashim yoshes melamalav anashim melamata, and they made a takana that the women should be upstairs and the men should be downstairs, and that's the tikkun gadol to make sure that the guys and the girls would not be messing around or flirting and all that type of stuff. So you see. That things haven't changed, and if they can do that in the base of Mikdash, they can do it in, in our shuls or in the streets or whatever. So on that note, um, we we would stop and we'll take this up tomorrow night. Bez Hashem. Okay. All right. Have a good Shabbos, everybody. Thank you. Have a good Shabbos. Shabbos. Yeah. Shabbos. Shabbos. Yes, what, what, time, what time tomorrow night? What time tomorrow night? What, nine o'clock. Nine, nine o'clock. Shabbos. Shabbos. Mincha. Chayim said he can't. It's too big. Too big? To try. Yeah, he said I have to go to Ravi for the parsha. Liner, soon you won't have to worry about it. Riyak was the rabbi in Rag Roder, so we can dive in there. Oh, man, that was back on. Yeah, so Riyak, we want to talk about okay. that a little bit? What's going on with that? You I stayed up. I know, right? He's, he's ditching it. He's, 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 he's avoiding the question. What, avoiding what question? I'm joking. I'm joking. I stayed on the whole time. For, one second. You were on for when we bashed Shayash's small base matters? <laughs> no, I wasn't on. I was on the I whole time. Did I hear that one point? No. Oh, come on, man. You missed, you missed that whole point? All right. We'll have what to happened? review it tomorrow. My kids. That's why what I don't happened? come on on Friday. That's the point. Yeah. Did you put in your email? That's all. You oh, weren't on the Okay, one second. So I came a little so few minutes late. I, it was up so in the dark. I wasn't for the schmoozing. No, this was, we just said it five minutes ago. Jacob, how often are you going to be I, by Groner? Every once other a week. month when he's not there. Once a month. Once uh, a month. How do I know? Did you see the paper? Oh, I saw how do it, I, I not know it, about this? It. How do I not know what about What paper? It? What is it no, to know about? I'm going to dive in there. That's all I'm doing. Is Jacob, speaking. Speaking. Jacob, there's speaking. massive flyers all over the place. And speaking. Where, Where did they put this stuff? It says davening and speaking. Is that so? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess. I guess I'll speak. Oh, yeah. I talk. I told him. I'll Are speak, you davening so. this week? <laughs> No, I have no idea when this is starting. Okay. I have no idea when. I have no. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> How do I, I have to know? But I have to know where to daven. That's why I said it's nine the o'clock. Thing. The davening. By the way, I also told him that I'm davening shachris earlier, and then I'll come. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are we doing for mincha and share tomorrow? So uh, please 15. tell Doylem Naftali. One second. Somebody's got to tell Jesse. No. So we're not having mincha. Jesse's off. Hello, Jesse's still here. here. Jesse's still here. Oh, you're back Wait. on. I thought I saw you leave. So what? we're going to do Mincha in YFR is at six. So the island can either dive in Mincha at six in YFR and we'll have Shir after. Or and you think 6.15 they could- they're going to be done? 6.20. 6.20. And then we'll finish Shir at seven and change. And the island will go to whatever does shoals. For, for, right, right, for the late you got like a telecall at 5.45, you can skip Mincha. But somebody has to afterwards. tell us. Don't is worry, anybody going to see Aaron Horowitz? Is anybody going to see Aaron Horowitz? I'm going to see him yeah. tomorrow morning at Davening here. Yeah. Okay, so tell him that we're not having Mincha. We don't have a Bakayr or Pashtas. So we're going to dive in six and YFR, or he could dive later, whatever the shoals, please. If I'm still uh, sober, I'll, I'll remember. Have a good Shabbos, everyone. See you in here, too. All right, yes. So what time is this year? It's 6.20. <laughs> and oh, then yeah, when you're it's not Gro- so complicated, man. And then when you're at Groner, if you could post the times too, so we know when to come. <laughs> Landy, <I'll> stop. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, bye.
Perry, okay, you just know posted. Perry just posted. You know I say uh, yes to everything. Uh, I say yes thing. to everything other than me opening a show. That everything else is a yes. <laughs> we don't have Malcolm, to open the show. We're gonna open the show. That's why we're gonna do. Open the show. Oh, you come. I I know that. I'm trying to. <laughs> what is it? He's still recording parrots. Parrots, can recording? you turn off the recorder, parrots? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> parrots, I think he wants to say something. Stop the recording.